Okay, another serious talk about uh, Bitcoin. After studying a uh, blockchain with my friend uh, John Montagne and talking uh, extensively about uh, blockchain and Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, um, there's something kind of worrying. Um, but it might not be really bad but I, I think that you should know understand this system or things that's going on so if you look at bitcoin it's always going up and down and up and down and sometimes it goes really high and then it goes low again and if you have bitcoin and it goes really high and you're smart enough to sell it when it's that high and it's really hard to identify when you have that peak you know I mean, some time ago there was like, if you now you see, like I said, 8,000. And there used, used to be this peak at like um, 20,000 some time ago. Imagine other people who sold it very cheap or bought it cheap and then sold it for 20,000. And there have been other peaks, like I think like 12,000, 14,000. And here you see that, uh, yeah, it just goes up and down, up and down. Let's look at a week. Let's look at a month. I mean, it's been the whole month has been pretty much around eight thousand, right? It's it's not that bad. One year, now this could be interesting. Let's see, eight thousand. Whoa, look, 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 whoa, look. Three thousand five hundred eighty-nine. Can you imagine you bought it at this moment, and now you have have so. There's less than four, like, like it's doubling your money, right? If you would sell it right now. But yeah, you don't know. It might, like, here, look, it's 11. So even if you buy it now at like eight, it might still go back to 11. And actually, I kind of expect it to go. I think that with the whole corona crisis, you could see it really had an impact here in March. And this really deep point in March 13. You can see the impact of Corona. Now, people were really scared of what was going on, and they were just they wanted to bank on their. They thought it was going to have maybe influence have, have influence on Bitcoin, and they just started selling their Bitcoins like crazy, probably, and it just tanked. Boom, 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 boom. So you see that the price goes up and down according to if people are selling. I hear they were selling a lot. You know, when they saw the Corona price going in March. And here, boom, it just boom, it tanked so hard, like from here. 7,000, 3,000. So the people were really in shock. Oh, it's almost my my birthday, 4th of March. From March 12 to March 13. There used to, it was a huge. But then again, in March 14, it, went, it, got, it was up to 5,000 already. So I think that a lot of people realized, man, at 3, 5, 3.5 it was really like lowest point of lowest points and they just started buying again and it's like even in one day it went up uh, like 1500 you see from so and then it boom 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 here yeah, it, it's got it's been growing ever since so you have like a couple of days Yeah, it's like March. In a couple of days, it went really low, like a one week, but a really low week. So now this sounds very exciting. What if you would have bought it for that low price, and now you could sell it for a high price? And that's the thing that I want to talk about. Um, that um, what is what is happening? I mean, when you can make, are you making money like that? If you are buying it for three and a half. And you have to be very lucky. You have to actually have bought it on that day when it was at that lowest point. So it's pretty much impossible. You should have been really like a hawk. Should have watched the whole thing going down between 12 and 13 March. And at that point, you had to like sell and buy or buy. So anyway, that's pretty much impossible, right? So there were a few people that were very lucky doing that. Made a lot of money there. And they bought, started buying it at this very low point, and then you can see it going up really quickly. 
going ho higher and higher as people got confident again. So, I mean, I mean, it seems like there's a lot of money to be made, right? It seems really good, and I guess, I guess that does happen. But if you look between this point, eight thousand and three thousand five hundred, there's a lot of, there's a big change too in this these couple of weeks. Um, so all this, so that's what I'm trying to say is that. Um, if you would have been one of these people that got scared, maybe had some Bitcoin, got really scared, sold all your Bitcoin, and you actually were one of the persons selling it at like 3,589, then maybe maybe you were lucky. Maybe you bought it for 2,000. Maybe you, you had it. You had Bitcoins at five. You bought your like long time ago, you bought your all your bitcoins at 500, so you're still making lots of profit. Maybe you were scared that you were gonna lose all your money, so you said, "Well, I better just bank on like, like uh, 4,000 or or something, and uh, instead of just losing everything I have." Maybe you got really scared and you just did that. So, but like, the, the, there's a big difference between selling it like on 4,000 and having it sold at like 11. You know, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that um, either not panic, <laughs> because like if you if you bought it like let's say like you bought at 14 February, you bought like a Bitcoin for 9,000 euros, and then you panicked somewhere here in March and you sold it like at like four, let's say 4,000 somewhere in between this. Uh, somewhere in here between the 7,000 and the 3,500 but let's say it sells for 6,000 or something I mean you lost like 3,000 euros so um, the, the best thing is probably is just to wait and keep faith that the Bitcoin will go up again that this just is a temporary drop and boom it will recover uh, unless you actually believe that um yeah it's gonna be a long time for to to recover which is wasn't it's like really quick recovery here you can see here this goes it went even one day like 1500 recovery so lots of like quick recoveries here and then here you see it going a little bit down again people are not so secure on, anymore in like recovery so I uh, maybe think well uh, so yeah and so like you can invest money in it but if you really want to make sure that you don't lose money on it it's really important that let's say if you buy it at 6000 don't sell it at like 7000 you know oh no you can sell it at 7000 that will be like 1000 profit right right but don't set it like uh, like when it's at like 5,000 or 3,000. Just keep the faith that it will stay and that it will recover. Now you might think, well, oh, uh, uh, I might risk losing everything. I don't think that Bitcoin is ever really going to like go to, to zero. I think there's already too much value in it. It might, you, if, you, if you're, the worst that can happen, there is a very slow recovery or it takes a long time for it to stay on zero. But you know, it may t maybe it takes a hundred years, and one day they discover uh, bl uh, Bitcoin again, and then it just goes like crazy. So I think I think that anything could happen. I would never like uh, sell Bitcoin for like bottom prices, at least not not for less than you uh, you put in it, or much less than you put in it. And it's better to I think that you're better off like I think you see that nobody did went below three thousand five hundred because most of the people not not many people here that have all these bitcoins have bought it below that price now if you're one of those lucky people like i said that ever bought it at 500 you probably already cashed out at some point so i think most people have um yeah this was really it went too low for people on that and most people just start to think well uh, these were the people that were in it for the long run so it's actually good to see that you see a bottom price bottom price will be like it won't go 
bottom price 3500 is really the lowest that it will go probably and then we'll recover because these people that have the bitcoins they're not gonna they're not gonna sell beyond this they're not gonna sell it for 3000 or 2000 or 1000 or 500 they're not it's not gonna happen there are too many people like like I like that think like me and they think well it's just gonna recover and they're not gonna actually lose any money they don't want, they want to just throw their Bitcoin away uh, for like uh, itty bitty money you know so uh, no it's not gonna happen uh, it will recover but yeah there are a lot of people between this peak 7000 and 3500 there are some people that panicked and lost money or yeah maybe they did it just in time for like what they were like recovering from but i don't know it's uh and i mean still like even if you bought at 5000 here you can see it slowly going up like maybe in march 20 they bought it back you know so um you can see even a lot, i think a lot of the pan people who panicked they started buying it back really quickly they realized that they didn't they panicked too hard and uh, yeah they tried to get it back before it was more expensive to buy back than what they sold it for so i see you see a little panic thing going on here and uh, so yeah i think i think that bitcoin is is i mean it's it, it could go completely to zero it can happen but if you look at uh how much uh you, you know like uh your market cap 152.7 billion it's a uh, it's uh, it's a lot of people have money in this a lot of people have invested so much money in this that like i said like they're, they're not gonna let it go to zero you know i don't think it will happen um I mean, I think that's just that's that's the reason enough. Just the fact that people, I mean, once you have bought it for five thousand, you know, are you gonna sell it for four thousand, three thousand? No, you want to sell it at least at six thousand just to get a little bit of profit, or, you know, so. It it kind of like it just straighten itself out, you know. So I just want to talk about what I've seen with like um, the volatility of of like Bitcoin and other like uh, uh, yeah coins. I mean, you got Ethereum here too. I haven't see it. Also, it has a thing where it goes up and down, up and down. July. Well, let's look at our year. Let's see what it has. March 13. Wow, 81. Holy. I wish I had money at that point. Man, 81. If you look at two th that's also like a more, yeah, more than a doubling. Ethereum went really low. March 13 again. You can see that uh, both of them are like very affected by this. So, but still again a recovery. 248. It's still recovering and i think that it's reasonable to say that after this all this thing happening the recovery will just keep going up and up and up so it probably will go above like these like 248 either go back to that or it go above the uh, 280 so even if you like would buy like 270 you could still buy some and it will probably uh, it will probably go above it, it, it's just gonna go up and up and up so um yeah anyway just uh, just want to talk about with uh, with uh, uh, with bitcoin and ethereum and uh, the volatility of these uh, of these uh, currencies and uh, how it kind of works uh if you buy when to buy when not to buy uh i mean it's smart just to wait for it to be on its lowest point like uh, but yeah, it's the, the thing is you really never know what is gonna happen. Like we, like if we look at this point, eight. I mean, it go up, from this point. We don't know what's gonna happen. It can go all the way up to twenty thousand from now. May go all the way up to four thousand again. It's like there's all these options, uh, all these things that you can do. You can only say, well, what do I expect? And then if you look at the whole year, you can see it's been 
it's already been at 11,000 and obviously it's been affected by some things it's been going lower and lower and here it was a really low point now it's going up again it would uh, you know I wouldn't uh, it could happen like in the next year it would go back again to 11 12 it go even above that you know so if if you would like to buy it now at like uh, 8 then and it could be it could say there's a lot of room between like 8 and 11 you know so it could definitely be worth it um, it's probably going to be more a better investment just having money on your bank but like I wouldn't put take all the money that you have and put it in like in Bitcoin because if something would happen to Bitcoin um, you would be like all your money uh, you, you the thing is even if it goes low it might not just completely be like gone I'm not saying that but let's say you have hundred thousand euros in savings right you buy hundred thousand in Bitcoin now that could be huge if it goes big right but what if it doesn't what if it just like uh like let's say it's now at eight thousand you buy it buy it and then it goes seven six and it just goes around six five four three or no not three probably but it goes like uh, five six five six five six now because you buy bought it at eight and it just keeps hanging around five and six yeah that's like twenty percent lower that's that's a lot of money you're not gonna if you need money for something you know if you if you want to move your house or if you want if you have you need that the twenty thousand savings if you need that then now you need to take money that's twenty percent less wor worth you know you have to use money that is that, and you lost twenty percent of that money whatever if you take ten thousand euros out now of that hundred thousand actually you're only getting eight thousand back for the ten thousand you put in so don't put anything in that you're not willing to like wait for like if you're not willing to wait for it to like uh, go above whatever you bought it for if you cannot if you don't have that luxury then you're gonna and if you, and it might happen where you're forced to like s sell it at, at a lower price then are you willing to do that are you willing to take that risk or um are you uh, yeah and also like you could diversify but as you see like as you look at ethereum ethereum would be a good second guess but ethereum also went very low and ethereum is also doing the kind of the same thing as bitcoin it's like it's doubled and since that very low point and the low point was like less than half of the highest point so uh but look at doubling and halving your money halving your money nobody wants to do but doubling your money um but yet doubling the money can, is going to be hard because like I said like this area where it was so low it was like one day so you would have to be so like on point to have bought it at this point you know so you probably uh, maybe a lot of people started buying at five you see it going down again selling again buying again so I think this between like yeah f between five and and like a hey, that's kind of where the action happened a lot of people starting buying on normal people were able to buy it like at these prices now if you were able to buy it at say like five in between this area between five and six and now it's at eight I mean you have a nice little uh profit right and if it, if you buy it at five and it goes to like 15 then you have like uh, a very good profit you know uh, so yeah and you're never gonna get you know, I mean how much how much are you gonna get on the bank right on the bank you're not gonna get that kind of like uh, uh, um, you're not gonna get that on any bank within a few months or weeks or um, uh, years even you're not gonna get a kind of return so um, yeah being able to double your money or like uh, get 20% interest on it or you know 20% that's like this that's that's what kind of like sh loan sharks ask I think <laughs> you know that's a lot getting 20% so uh, but you have to be smart uh, about it and, and, and know what you're doing and and I think the most important thing is what I already said is that whatever money you put in you have to be able to wait even if it's like a long time until it rate it goes above your original buying price 
So if you buy it at 6,000, then you only can sell it at 6,000 or higher. If for some reason it would like fall below that, like at, at the moment you can see it's really pretty much around like 8,000 for a long, long time. You see, like nine, eight. So if you bought it somewhere for here between eight and nine, uh, yeah, eight and eight point four. Like let's say you bought it eight point four, and now at the moment it's eight point two, right? So you're gonna lose money by selling it. So you have to like be able to do the long game where you wait until the right moment. So yeah, I guess. Uh, I th I, and then if you do that, then you will never lose any money. You can only gain money. And then there is this point where you have to say, well, what if it's uh, when, when am I going to sell it if it goes really high? Um, because there might be points where it will go to like say uh, it goes to twenty or something. Yeah, let's look at uh, look at the all sixteen. Oh, this in euros. And twenty was probably like dollars or something. 16,000 euros so that's the highest that Bitcoin has ever been that's like double of what it is now now uh, it could happen that it goes even beyond that so you have to think about well, what I'm going to do is this going to be long to you have to see this long-term savings that you might lose <laughs> or like you might not have access you you don't have Normally, when you have long time save, save, uh, uh, savings, you know that, oh, I, I'm putting it away for 20 years. If I don't, if I take it before 20 years, then this is, the, then I will lose a little bit of money or something. Uh, but the thing is that, uh, like I said, if you have like 20,000 euros savings and you put it all like in bitcoins and you really, really need it for some reason or something really important and you are forced to take it out while it's like 20% lower you know then you just lost 20% of like 20,000 euros like 4,000 euros so but if you're lucky and that's probably what's going to happen and you wait then um, yeah it's going to peak above that and maybe you will be able to like sell it at like 12,000 or something or you know and then you get like then you make like uh, 4,000 euros you know so and then if you're really lucky maybe you're smart enough to see and watch keep track of your bitcoins and you can see it peak and then one day it will go to 16,000 and then you're and then you have the the smartness to or the, you know in the knowledge to think that okay well i don't think it's going to go ho and this is risky because it i can actually go higher but you might think well i don't think it's gonna uh, uh, you know my money's doubled i'm just gonna sell it at double the price and then sell it but yeah you're gonna be it's gonna be painful if it goes up to like a hundred thousand and you sold it at 16 you know <laughs> you're gonna be like oh man yeah you've lost so many so much money but yeah i think you can also look for the trends because um let's say you bought it like let's say about here at four thousand and that was this is not even that long ago and uh, this is actually where i started looking uh this is the period where i started looking at the at bitcoin and I started watching the trends, and I was like, "Well, this this is interesting. It's really going. It's it's really go doubling and, and again and again. And then here you see a couple of doublings, and then boom, another doubling. But then it went like to twelve. So I think most people just, uh, yeah. But still, if, if you look at this point six, and then it took so long to really go below that." five six i mean from here to here it's been pretty much like above six and then here it went to a low again for a while this was actually not a friend of mine bought some here and i sold it later so this is really it was a really nice low point for people to buy it a good investment time but yeah sometimes these like say the, the last one was like only one day you know here march 13 like a day before my birthday <laughs> anyway should have asked like bitcoin for my birthday <laughs> anyway um yeah it's interesting
so that's kind of my idea I think if you look at this and all the things that's happening I mean if you see like three and a half three that's kind of like the lowest it will get you know it's been for being a long time it's been below that like this has been uh, here in 2017 you know that's where it started going above that and it's been uh, above that and even if it would go lower than that if you have patience it, it probably will go up to whatever you bought it for you would probably be get you there'll be a point where you'll be able to get your money back or more so anyway i am um, yeah i don't know what i can say more about it i know that maybe it's a lot of money like let's say you have a lot of money in there it could be very stressful and very scary but um like i said there's so many people that have money invested in this uh like i it's not like all these people are just gonna sell all, the, all of their bitcoin for like uh, a cent on one cent for a bitcoin they're not gonna do that because they, they they a lot of people will 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 will, will think what well, they're even gonna buy it when as soon as it goes very low they all thinking like i'm thinking and they see if one they see it hit three thousand then they're gonna get interested in like oh wait a minute it's gonna be peak and as soon as they see it like go up again boom they start buying and they get trust again in the bitcoin and go ups again and then you have all these up and up and downs but uh yeah but that's the funny thing about bitcoin it's the price is dependent on how much pe how many people are buying and selling selling it and if a lot of people are selling it it goes down a lot of people are buying it, it goes up and that's the volatility now eventually the volatility might like become less and less um yeah and the fun the, but the funny thing is that uh yeah yeah it's it's uh we'll have to see them there might be a day that there might be a future where a bit one bitcoin is not a thousand but it's like eight million or something and that might be like a few hundred years from now might be a hundred years from now maybe like a half a century from now i don't know but i think and that's why a lot of people like to buy bitcoin and hold on to it because we have a feeling an idea that the bitcoin will be some kind of like a uh, super unit that uh, like I said, it's like maybe worth um, a million or a billion uh, one because they're limited and if you look at the kind of money that's in the world they're already normally in the world they're already and I mean 152.6 billion it may look like a lot but for some countries this is nothing they just this is like their budget on, on something you know uh, uh, so uh, there's a lot more money in the world and if let's say that uh bitcoin becomes some sort of like basic uh the ba like the basis for our becomes a very important bitcoin ha could have the could it could have be that bitcoin become like what gold used to be it used to be could, can be the new gold standard and if that happens like eight thousand euro for one bitcoin it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be nothing you know that's what i'm saying like it could be eight million so having a few bitcoins now like what if you had like if you bought like in f january 14 you know what if you bought like a bitcoin here for 77 euros you know you can see how much higher it has become and it took a long time to grow but here you go 77 and here already is 600 it's like 10 times higher and then you go and then okay it takes a while before like it goes like and then here it's 10 times higher than that so here's 100 times higher than here all the people that had had like had bought them in 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 uh, 2013 now they have the 100 fold 100 fold return on it you know and then here it goes again to this and then here it's like 200 fold return so it, 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 And there's, there are not many things. There are not many things in life. I mean, except for building your own business. Your own business is probably a lot better than, than putting money in Bitcoin. That's what I'm focusing on. But um, 
because you have much more control and it is mu even it's much more like even here like because the hundred the hundred fold return is already happened between here and here there's already a hundred fold return so uh, for this to go to like eighty thousand yeah like i said like it, it might be one year it might be hundred years so we don't know how long it's going to be it might be in 101 years like eight million that will also happen so uh, it's kind of like so it, it's hard to predict we expect it to happen we expect it to become very big but if it's going to be like in 10 years 20 years or 100 years or a thousand years we don't know uh, but like if you want to have money for yeah, like your grand grand grandchildren and you want them to be like be, be billionaires it could be useful to like buy one bitcoin now put it and then uh, keep that safe make sure you don't lose do uh, and then lose that information to a bitcoin and then put it in your inheritance and keep that for you for your grand grand grandchildren because for them one bitcoin now uh, like 100 years from now they might them maybe you may become the millionaires or billionaires but f right now for us uh, for so for the long game is definitely a good investment but for now if you want to make a living if you just want to buy a new house you don't know it might be very risky like to put like a hundred thousand in bitcoin hoping that it become three hundred thousand now it might happen and uh it, it you know actually i think that would be a smart move because um your house is never going to be it's not going to triple in value you know uh but the the money if you if you like you if you would sell your house and, and if you have the money available to put it into bitcoin that could actually triple um uh, but yeah doubling or tripling i don't know it's like going beyond that it's gonna it's gonna be hard because we're already at eight thousand so i don't know uh, uh if it's realistic to believe that a, tr a doubling or tripling i would have i you know i haven't done any calculation on this but uh yeah and how, how much money people would have to put into it even like uh, f uh f to to do that and if that's even even vi uh, viable to believe that will happen but like i said like the whole if if it becomes a, um, uh, a more important more stable part of our economy and people are started using it as um like a savings savings account uh or like um uh yeah an investment uh, investment um or uh as even and uh, even more as a way of like transferring money between each other selling uh, bu buying and selling things um there's there's a big chance that eight thousand for one bitcoin i mean you have to know that bitcoins are actually uh finite that means that they're they will they're they're you cannot just keep printing them you cannot just keep making them like you can do with money you uh, they're actually they're built in to be no more then I think there's like 17 million bitcoins. So if you go at like um, 17 million, uh -huh. 17 million. Am I doing it right? I think it's my one more zero, right? Yeah, 17 million uh, times. Hey, just keep it simple keep it at eight thousand yeah so eight thousand so these are the millions so i think this is like six billion 136 billion um yeah that's actually like i said like 152 you see 152.6 billion Maybe I should have calculated that uh, 0.281. Anyway, um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. But um, like I said, like if people are the more people, the more value that is given to this, the more it will. Um, it might go even higher and higher because the more people want to buy it the price keeps going up and up 
so I'm very curious about how this actually works and if if it devaluates over time or it's it's just um, yeah you know I'm very I'm, I'm really is curious that you can just keep buying something and selling something that and the price is adjusted so much uh, at the on, on the value of it on depending on the buying and selling of it but if if the buying and selling of it is so important that I think that the more it gets bought the more transactions are used to actually buy it from somebody else like so um, for real money so let's say the, the housing branch would use this now houses are very expensive so uh, if somebody would like yeah I don't know that if, if 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 people start you like I said like if, if people start using this as their savings what if you would sell your house and then start renting a place and instead of not put the money that you put in your house put it in Bitcoin that would actually make a lot of sense a lot more sense than buying a house because now you put you your 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 house if you're buying a house you're buying it actually as a saving as a savings account now it will always save you money because you don't have to pay rent right so even if you like if the price of the house is not going up uh, you have not paid rent so you're kind of like saving money on that and now so if you would like but then there's all these extra costs like upkeep like like repairing your house painting it all these things you have to do as a homeowner so the, the, it's not completely free uh, which if you rent you don't have to do maybe you can get like uh, some cheap rent somewhere or you could live in a tiny house you can do anything you know you live on a boat and sail around the world <laughs> anyway what if you would like instead of like putting all your money in this big large house uh, you you put it like in let's say Bitcoin and Bitcoin just keeps going up and up and just giving you and and, and, and let's say like lots of people start doing that then they, 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 so much money would be put into this in Bitcoin that it would go up and up and up and up and this is kind of like the waves that we still have to see there's some people has there, I, there was one guy one Dutch guy who did that and he just sold his house and all his money everything was he was even a, a, a coder so he knew his stuff and he he put he knew that this could be big and he put all his money in Bitcoin and then I think he like when it went up to 16 he cashed in on that for a part and he now he's living in Thailand or something like living there with his family and uh, very cheaply f just from from money from the bitcoins so it's, it's definitely uh yeah it's def definitely an interesting idea to do like what is smarter like if you want to i think that still doing a business thing is the, the best way to make income but what are you going to do with the money one, once you have it but the, on, on the other hand like to put uh, but and then yeah and but the question is are you going to all put it like in cryptocurrency or are you going to diversify you know because uh, and how much do you trust cryptocurrency like if let, let's say I would like earn a hundred thousand euros and I want to save a large part of that um, uh, I'm gonna put like a hundred kind of let's say I put like 80,000 euros into uh, cryptocurrency and something would happen with the whole cryptocurrency market place where you know something unforeseen like um, I don't know some uh, um uh yeah something something we like um some kind of virus some kind of like hacker community uh something uh, and 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 or some of a something economic uh now these things are kind of like i said like i think that because of the blockchain the blockchain is very secure it's gonna be it's very unlikely compared to like hacking a site yes you be very careful that a, a site can be hacked everything can be hacked blockchain is the blockchain the bitcoin blockchain or any cryptocurrency blockchain is protected by all the computers over the whole world okay